This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That control can only mean one thing. We're we'll playing the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, today's episode of Mermaid Lane, we're going to be taking a look at some really, really old, crazy multi carts right here, as you can see. Now, uh, these multi carts are probably around 30 years old. They're probably from the late 80s, early 90s, and this is for the NES. Um, so, the first one that we'll check out is the 190 games. The second one is 115, and then the third, which I was planning on checking out, is the 52 games cart. Uh, this one apparently doesn't work on my NES. It's really weird. Now, I took the screws out so you can see this. This is what the, the board looks like. And there is definitely some really weird stuff going on in here, I can tell you that. It's, um... If you look at that real carefully... I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. I mean, that does not look normal to me. It looks like someone put like a little... solder, like a little piece of copper going across three pins. And I want to see that supposed to be there for some reason but it doesn't work on my NES and I kind of want to take it off but then I kind of don't want to take it off because I don't know for sure if that's really supposed to be there or not but this game this multi cart doesn't work on my NES now, this is what the board looks like and this is James I want to show off this multi cart this is a supervision multi cart Let's get this back in here. Hopefully you can return it back to the way it was. Alright, it's supposed to be like this. You can see right there. And now there it is, that solder. And I kind of want to take it off, but then again, I kind of don't want to take it off. Because I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. But that's definitely kind of really strange. But what we'll, we will do is look at the uh, casing. Right, let's focus this camera. We have a Supervision cartridge, which are these are older uh, multi carts. They're obscure, definitely not normal. And you can see the caution right here is do not store at extreme temperatures, do not immerse in water. Basically, the same thing that you get on your NES cartridge and uh, made in Japan. And uh, th these are the 52 games that you would normally get on this Adventure Island. Uh, Salomon, DER1, PD Fighter, Star Soldier, The Goonies, Tetris 2, Super Mario Brothers 2, which I'm, I would definitely be curious to try that out. Uh, this one might be a little bit younger than the other two, so this one might be like 91 or 92 that this multi card came out. And got all the Donkey Kong games and all that stuff. 1980, you know what? It, there's a lot of 89 stuff here. 89 Galaga. 89, something else here, there's a wrestling game. So this actually still might be uh, definitely like a early 90s multi-cart, maybe even a late 80s, who knows. But these things are old. The, the plastic definitely feels different than the normal NES cartridge. Um, here we have the 115 game right here. Now this one right here, you can see it's quite the uh, fancy looking label art and on the back you can actually see what games we have so there's a handful of games we'll be definitely checking that out and that's like a little serial number right there that's interesting and the pins on this one don't look any different and um let me zoom in over here let me see if you can zoom in and see what that says right there it says technology, function, quality, reliability. I think that's what that says. Uh, this card is your best choice. 
it gives you like a whole rundown on this. Well, let's focus this camera again. It gives you a description on that. I got some boxer. And, uh, and then we have the uh, 190 cart right here. A tremendous amount of games on one cart for back then. This came out probably probably around the 1990-1989. See, there's a huge list of games. You can barely read it. You see 1990 Tank. So this probably came out around 1990 disc cartridge. And there's nothing on the back. It's just a plain gray cartridge. So this is like a really generic, old school multi-cart full of pirated games. And usually what pirated games, they change the name of the titles. They do ROM hacks. They do a lot of crazy hacking on the games, modifications, all kinds of weird stuff. So you really know, never know what you're going to find. I mean, today's multi-carts are a lot more elaborate. So you never know what you're going to see on these old ones. These old ones, you might get some surprises. I don't expect anything crazy when it comes to ROM hacks on these. But let's start off uh, with this one right here. The 19, uh, 190 games on one card. Uh, let's head over to the NES. Uh, let's try this out. And let's see exactly what we have on this cartridge. Alright, here we are playing this uh, crazy old school multi cart here from probably like 30 years ago. And I had to remove my Games Genie in order to get this working. This is uh, 190 games in one. All right, let's uh, check this out here. So we're gonna check out the first selection of games, and let's uh, turn that back down over here. So on these older multi carts, they don't have like a huge list. They just list everything in, in like categories here. We can just select one through 20, 21 through 40. All right, let's go on here for a second. You have like a 1990 Tank, Super Tank, Battle City, Arkanoid, Tetris 1 and 2. I wonder if this is the real Arkanoid game. Let's uh, let's check this out. It definitely looks like it. I used to have the Arkanoid controller with the little wheel on it back in the day. I owned this game and uh, I didn't realize back then that the, that controller is like now super expensive to get. And you can see right here, the the, uh, the actual controller with the wheel on it works a lot better. So, uh, we've got Tetris. Alright, let's uh, check out Tetris here. That definitely does not look like uh, the normal Tetris that I would normally play on the NES. Uh, this appears to be the Tengen Tetris, as you can see there. I've never really played the Tengen Tetris before. I heard it's actually better. Uh, here we go, we can select different stages here. And here we go, we got Tension Tetris. And it looks pretty good. Made by Atari. And there's Tetris Part 2. What is this? And, uh, I believe I might have Tetris Part 2 here. Yeah, this is a Tetris Part 2 right here. This is a game that I actually never really cared to play too much. And yeah, it sounds like we have a very loud truck out there doing some weird stuff. Oh yeah, we have Star Soldier, Radius. Now uh, we have, uh, what is 1989X? Exertion or Exerion? Galaza? Galaza? What is Galaza? Oh my god, that's a loud truck. What the hell? That's what happens when I fool with my windows open. So Galaza, I'm, I'm assuming this is Galaga. Let's, let's take a look. It's Galaga, but you know what? Whoever made this multi-card, they probably confused, confused that G in Galaga for a Z. That's pretty funny. 1982, we got Pinball. It looks like all the basic old school NES games, nothing really fancy really right here. Alright, we have uh, Track Field, Track and Field, Soccer 2, Soccer 1, 
Wrestling 1 and 2, you know I'm a, a sucker for wrestling games. Let's find out which wrestling game this is. Here we have a Pro... Tag Team Pro Wrestling. Huh. That title screen looks weird. It doesn't look like, uh... Let's see, what, what, you, what is this game? Huh. It's actually this game right here. Tag Team Wrestling. And, uh, Tag Team Wrestling, uh, if you pop this in, it has a completely different title screen. That's really strange. Uh, what's this one right here? Wrestling number two. It looks like some sort of Famicom wrestling game. Yeah, look at that. I have never seen this before. Oh my god, oh, oh, what, what the hell? What else do we have on this cartridge? This is a crazy cartridge. Lunar Ball, Tennis, Bomberman 1, Urban Champion, that's a fun game right there. Excite Bike, let's see if they change anything in Excite Bike. Oh, Excite Bike looks pretty normal to me. Hey, right, let's uh, go back out. What's a uh, category art? This one right here. Let's see what this is. Solomon's Key. Uh, flip pool. Oh, uh, we got this uh, Mo A Jin. I don't know what this is. What, what is this? It looks like it might be some sort of uh, platformer. Oh, my, oh, look at this. This is crazy. I have never seen this before. I don't know what this is, but that looks actually pretty cool. Oh, Load Runner 1 and 2. Pac Man 1 and 2. Dick Dug. You got all these classic arcade style games. They're probably much smaller in capacity. Oh, uh, here we go. Super Mario. Let's check out some Super Mario. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what the hell is this? Uh, Super Mario 2? Is this the Japanese version of Super Mario 2? What is this? What is? What the hell? Let's find out. It looks like Super Mario 1 to me. What the hell? It looks exactly like Super Mario 1. That's really, really strange. I mean... So my guess is they probably had to, uh... Change the title screen for copyright violations, I guess? I don't know. I mean, this whole thing is a copyright violation. It's a pirated cart. Uh, what is, what is this? Mario Brothers. <laughs> it says Mr. Mary. What the hell is that? Alright, we're playing, uh... Mr. Mary, a.k.a. Mario Brothers, I mean, not a good job hiding that. Alright, let's, uh, oh, 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 oh my god, I got bit in the ass. Fancy Brothers, alright, let's play some, uh, Fancy Brothers. Let's find out what this is. Obviously, it's, uh, Mario Brothers. Oh, oh, what the hell? Mario Brothers, what? Very, very glitchy looking. Oh my god, what the hell? What is going on here? What the? It's like half the screen's missing. That's really bizarre. That was strange. I mean, that's a really weird version of Mario Brothers. I've never seen that before. Some sort of ROM hack, weird mess. Oh, here we got King Kong Part 1. I wonder what that can be. Obviously, it's, my guess is it's going to be some sort of Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Here we go. So they had they had to name it King Kong instead, which is really stupid. But here we have a Donkey Kong crammed onto this cartridge. And uh, my guess is this cartridge probably came out around 89 or... Uh, 90, probably 1990, I would say. 90, 90 or 91. Oh! See if we can jump over this. And, uh, oh, look at that. See if we get the hammer up here. What the hell? 
Now these are obviously Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong 3. Alright, let's see. Wait a minute. Did that say combat? Is that the same combat that's in the 2600? I have a copy of combat down here somewhere. Got combat right here. Is this combat? Field combat. Okay, what is this? I've never seen this before. I only know of one combat, and that is 2600 combat. What? Is, what the hell is this? Get over here! It's definitely not the same combat that I play on the Atari. All right, the Atari 2600 combat is like a tank type deal. Oh my god! What is this? So this is not bad. I don't know what that was. I never played that before. It's not my usual combat. Alright, so we got a uh, Magman, Macross, Warpman, Formation Z, Choplifter, Super Tank 2, Super Poyen. Alright, well, uh, what is this Superman 2? What is this? I think I played something like this before. It was like a Dino Ricky type game or something like that. I don't know if it's the same thing or not. Oh, look at this! It's like a top-down shooter, but with a caveman. Oh my god, what a boomerang. I mean, who came up with this idea? I mean, is that, is, I'll admit it's fun. It's a great idea. All right, let's go back out to the main menu. Apparently there's a whole nother category right here. What is this? There's more games. Okay, Super Gradius, Super Bomberman 2, Super Donkey Kong 3. So we have a super selection of games right here. Crazy Arkanoid, what the hell is this? What What is Crazy Arkanoid? It's like some sort of crazy ROM hack. Let's find out. It seems pretty normal. I'm guessing, you, you, as you saw a second ago, you can actually make adjustments. Okay, so number of... Play number, okay. Uh, page number. I don't know what that means. Let's see if that makes any difference. These are some really, really early, like, ROM hacks and... Oh yeah, look at that. Just look at that, that's crazy. So you can jump anywhere into Arkanoid that you want. That's actually pretty cool. And you can see that all these right here. Let's see, you pick a... <laughs> this Donkey Kong, Super Donkey Kong 3. What, what the hell is this? I mean, look at that, oh my god. That's crazy. Alright, what, what's in the next category here? We have some more crazy stuff. I mean, look at this. Crazy Gradius. Star Soldier 2. The crazy version. Crazy Galga. What, what, what the hell is Crazy Galga? Let's find out. Alright, you can choose your like stage. So when you play Crazy Galga, you can choose your stage and immediately start off in that stage. And that will, that noise right there, that little jingle, reminds me of Ridge Racer on the PlayStation. And here we are, oh my god, oh, what the hell. The, uh, the NES version of Galga is actually pretty good. L let's go to the next section here. We got a whole bunch of other crazy things here. Crazy Tiger Hout. Crazy Pinball. Crazy Kung Fu. Crazy Urban Champion. I gotta check this out. Urban Champion. Let's uh, let's see here. All right, let's let's punch him in the face. Yeah, take that, you son of a bitch. Just like bum fighting, or you know, you get shrunk in a bar and you had enough. You want to go outside and beat someone up? Here it is. This is the game right here. Oh my god. Alright, what else do we have in here? There's gotta be more... 
stuff besides crazy, crazy stuff here. Look at all this crazy stuff. Summon's key. Dig Dug. More crazy, more crazy Mario Brothers. Okay, what is this? So you tell me that you can warp in Mario Brothers. Let's find out. What the heck? Okay, let's... Oh, okay, this is the original Mario Brothers. That makes sense. I thought that was Super Mario Part 1. I was gonna say, what? I don't remember there being that many stages in Super Mario Part 1. That's actually pretty cool. And uh, Pac-Man, you can warp in Pac-Man 2, I guess. Now, what else do we have here? Pretty much the whole selection of games you had before. It's a repeat, except with uh, a ROM-hacked version of it where you can select the levels. Look at this. And some of them might be repeats, too. Superman 1, 2, and 3. I mean, look at this. Bomberman uh, 3, 4, 5, 3 again. <laughs> the Donkey Kong 3. Wait a minute. I thought they were supposed to call that King Kong. What the hell's going on here? Bomberman 2. That is, that is pretty much it. What, what the hell is Bo uh, Bomberman 6 on the NES? Let's find out. Okay, let's uh, let's let's play this and see what exactly what this does. All right, we have Bomberman up there. Let's go down here. Oh, the bombs take much longer to go off. What the hell? Oh, he can walk through the bricks. I don't remember that happening before. I mean, that's kind of weird. And that is the, uh, that crazy multi-cart here. Super 191 multi-cart. Really, really weird stuff. Alright, the, uh, next one that we're gonna try out is the, uh, 115 games on one cartridge right here. You can see that. And, uh, these might be made all by different companies. I really don't know, because they're, the labels and the cartridges all look different. So uh, let's head over to the NES and let's try out this 115 in one multi cart from probably around 1990, I would say. Let's uh, let's head over and let's check this out. All right, here we have a uh, crazy multi cart from the uh, early 90s, probably 30 years old. It's 115 games in one. We're gonna check this out and we're gonna see exactly what they have on here. We have um, Islander, Grading, Mason. Weird stuff that I never heard of before. I mean Tetris. Let's check out Tetris. Uh, this is definitely a tension version of Tetris right here. This is not the um, Nintendo version. And then of course you have Tetris Part Two. So much like the uh, the other multi card that came out around that time, they feature a lot of the same games. What is Mario Two? What is this? Is this like Mario 2, like Mario Mario 2, like the Japanese version? Huh. So this looks like uh, Super Mario 1, but with different textures. That's really weird. Let's go down here for a second. Yeah, look at that. Look at the ground. The ground has completely different textures. That's really strange. So it looks like a second version of Mario 1 that is on this ROM cart that has completely different textures on the ground. It actually looks better in my opinion. Really weird. There we go, we got some fireworks. And uh, what do we have here? Going into the tunnel. Yeah, the clouds have like little smile faces on them. And there we have uh, the ground textures definitely look better. That's interesting. Uh, Arkanoid. 
The same exact as Arkanoid game that you no, know, this the usual. This is also on the uh, the other multi cart from uh, around that same time period. So this is from like 30 years ago for sure. All right, well, what do you got? Here? What is uh, Islander? What is this? Oh, here we go. It's like an adventure island type thing going on here. Oh, wait. look at this. How well, fast he runs. Eventually, he's gonna get a skateboard. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, let's, uh, what is Maze Song? What is this? Huh. Some sort of platformer. I've never seen this one before. So, the, this game, uh, this cartridge contains a variety of different games for the NES. That came out probably in the late 80s, my guess. And, uh, back then, you couldn't buy, like, uh, EverDrive emulation carts and stuff like that. You were pretty much forced to... to buy these, uh, multi-carts, as you can see here. And they probably weren't easy to come by, so they were pretty expensive. Uh, but back then, people bought these, and they basically had a pretty decent collection of game on one cartridge. And a lot of the games were not bad. Pretty good games. So you had the Goonies right here. So you, you had a few interesting games on here. Let's, let's see what else we have. Thunderbike. What is Thunderbike? Yeah, look at that. Alright, let's see if we can go down here. Now here's the second portion of the list right here. What what is ASCII? What is this? See, there's a lot of weird stuff I never heard of before. What is this? That's like a uh, some sort of uh, Famicom game. Now we got all the little animals on the side looking. That's actually some pretty good looking graphics right there. That's pretty good. So Wrecking Crew, there's a lot of the same games around the other cartridge. So pretty much the same stuff as you can see here. Sight Bike, Galaga, they actually spelt Galaga properly this time. On the uh, the other cartridge, they they, they spelt Galaza with a Z instead of a G. Pac-Man, Kung Fu. We got King Kong Part 1. King Kong 2 and 3, which is obviously Donkey Kong. All right, if you keep going down here, you event. Oh, what, what is this wrestling game? What is this? All right, it's a Japanese wrestling game. You can tell that whoever designed these multi cards back then, they were, they were mostly into like uh, the Famicom stuff, like Japanese Famicom stuff. Whatever was on the Famicom, you might see pop up on this cartridge, and that made the cartridge, cartridge even more appealing because. You know, back then, it was actually pretty hard to, to buy Famicom games or import Famicom stuff. You can't play Famicom games on your NES back then. Unless you had a converter, which that probably wasn't too common. So guess what? You had Famicom games on here. What is E.T.? What is this? E.T. It's uh, like a Space Invaders type thing going on here. Look at this. And they just called it E.T. instead. Interesting. Space Frog. Okay, this is called the Warp Man, but they, for some reason, they named it Space Frog on the, uh, the, the uh, list. So as you can see here, you're gonna find a lot of weird stuff that doesn't have the, uh, the appropriate name. Okay, so we got. Duck Hunt. And we got Pro Pac-Man. What, what the hell is Pro Pac-Man? Let's find out. 
So if you're a pro at Pac-Man, you gotta play this version of Pac-Man right here. You have to buy this multi-cart. And uh, it definitely seems like your normal Pac-Man so far. Oh! Pro Ape. What is this? It's Donkey Kong! Donkey Kong 3. Pretty hilarious. So yeah, let's uh, keep going down here. For... Pro Mario. All right, what 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 makes this Pro Mario? Let's find out. It looks like the same thing. Why is this considered Pro Mario? Like, what what's the deal? Pro ET. So this is a multi-cart, probably, my guess, 89, 1990, around that time. It's definitely 30 years old. Definitely a really old multi-cart. So the, the, these multi-carts, back then, probably costed a lot of money. Look, Urban Champion. Let's play some Urban Champion. You see it has a lot of the earlier, older NES games. Dating back to, like, 86, 85... And oh my god, he's gonna kick my ass. Got the discount shop right here. This is like some crazy stuff. And I played this on the other the other cartridge as well. Oh! Look at this. So this is a pretty interesting look back in uh in the history of multi carts. Now once again we're being brutally interrupted by a loud truck driver. And uh, look at that, that is amazing. So that is a multi-card that has 190 games, 115 games on it. Now, pretty cool stuff. Uh, containing a lot of the older NES games, and I think it's actually pretty interesting. So, if you guys want to see some more really, really old, obscure, strange multi-cards, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, as mentioned before, uh, the 52 games in one multi-cart I uh, would not work on my NES. It was definitely bugging out, acting weird. I cleaned all the pins. The pins are fine. Except for that weird soldering on the pins. But yeah, as, as you can see right here, this is what the uh, game does. Definitely uh, not, not normal. Kind of makes me mad. Wanted to check it out. But yeah, this is a 52 games in one multi-cart from the early 90s, and it has some sort of weird soldering on the pins. I'm not sure if that was done by the factory or if that was done by uh, somebody else, but one more time you guys can see that. It's definitely uh, some strange stuff, and it does not work. So I'm just going to leave it alone, keep it in the collection just the way it is. And uh, there will be another multi-cart coming in soon, so I'll just do that video individually by itself so you, you guys can see uh, another multi-cart multi coming from Canada. And we'll see exactly what's on that one. That one has a completely different looking label on it. And that one's also an older one, so we'll check that one out as well. And uh, stay tuned for some more crazy episodes of Memory Lane. And if you want to see some more crazy multi-carts, don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think.